name is Peston. I live in Cape Town. Also, I do uh, delivery. Interbed helped me to realize my dreams. Now I have my own delivery vehicle and I'm able to do the removal in and around Cape Town. Racing takes place out at Hollywood Bet Scottville on Monday, the 29th of January 2024. We've got eight races on the program, and race number one is set to get underway at 12.40. That is 22 1. 1,500 meters the trip for the very first race, which is a maiden plate for fillies and mares, and it will kickstart the bipod on the Monday. Now, uh, having a look at race number one, your favorite is Chi Chi Castanango at 18 to 10 in the market. Tannen Princess is trading at 4 to 1, along with Elusive Bell, it's in 7 to 1, and better bar those. Now, what is not an overly strong maiden uh, play for fillies and mares, and a race that's certainly not going to take a lot of winning. The race does look to lie between uh, three horses that um, are right up there in the betting market, numbers 1, 2, and 4. Now, uh, number two, Chi Chi Castanango, who is your current favorite. She ran second last time out, well beaten beyond wonderful, and it was a stretched out field on that occasion where she was uh, second best on the day and uh, a well beaten second best. She jumped from gate number two. She does drop in trip to 1,500 meters, but given that she is still a young filly, she's only had uh, three starts to date, I think the drop in trip could just be ideal for this uh, daughter of Master of My Fate. She's a nicely bred individual related to Belgarian, and if she happens to uh, put her best foot forward, I certainly believe she'll be in the firing line. I think from gate number two, back on the turf, it's a, it's a huge advantage for her. And I think that uh, she could certainly play a leading role, as the betting market does suggest. The main danger, I think, could come from number four, Elusive Bell. Now, this filly has had five starts to date. Last time out, over 1,900 meters when stretched for the very first time. She made up some headway, but she made up headway to a point. She was well beaten behind Rosy Future, beaten four and a half lengths. After that run, she was given a rest, and uh, she now comes back off 68-day layoff. And I think the drop to 1,500 meters could see this filly being very effective. When we have a look at her run in a penultimate start, she was beaten behind Flight Maneuver, who uh, led from start to finish. She was ridden in a more handier position, and she was right up there with the you know, with them, and uh, she just uh, made a couple of positions to finish second. So I think if they uh, adopt similar tactics from the draw, I think she could uh, make a presence felt in a big way over 1,500 meters, a trip that I think could suit her quite nicely, even though she's a filly that uh, her running style suggests that she'll get even further. I think 1,500 meters at this point in her career could be ideal. And then number one, Tannen Princess, who finished fought last time out, beaten behind Patton's hair. Now, where she steps up in trip to 1,500 meters for the first time, draw one, and you would think on uh, chalky, arrangement, chalky arrangements that uh, number two, Chichi Casanango, is a much, uh, f much more favorite stable uh, companion. So I'll be with numbers two and four here. I hit off number one, Tannen Princess. In terms of top selections, I'll be with number two, Chichi Castanango. I think uh, that uh, she could put her best foot forward back on the turf, which I think is a positive for her. And 1,500 meters at this point in her, in her career could just be ideal. So in terms of the bar pot, I think uh, two and four could uh, be good enough for you. If you want to go past those, I would suggest just include number one, Tannen Princess. When you look at the remainder of the field, nothing particularly stands out from the balance of the runners. And I think they all need to... Uh, make a, a bit of improvement to get on terms with numbers one, two, and four. So that's race number one, two and four for me in leg number one of that bi part. It's good fun, days like these are, are great. You get the whole industry together um, and to have, you know, companies um, and corporations like Interbet and Cape Racing who are uh, so generous with um, sort of time and, um, and energy into, into making a day like this possible, is, uh, it's, it's fantastic for everyone.